Welcome to PrairieFoxSurvival.com. I'm Richard and today we're going to be dehydrating some tomatoes for the trail and some camping we're getting ready to do. And if you don't have the Excalibur and a dinosaur, a couple of dinosaur dehydrators like we do, well, you may either want to put parchment paper down to keep them sticking, or like us, what we do is we take olive oil and we just wipe them down. And we haven't had a problem with them sticking in any way. So, let me get rid of this and I'll get right back to you. Okay, and what we do is we're using organic cherry tomatoes today. And can you see that, Danny? Yes. Okay. And what we're doing, if they're real tiny, we cut them in half. If they're a little bit larger, we quarter them. And one such as this one. Now, with the cherry tomatoes, you don't have to worry about cutting the stem end off like you do on aroma or regular tomato because there's just not that much stem to it. So what we do is we just quarter them just like this. And it is kind of time consuming, but well worth it. And then with that done, we start, and nothing fancy, just spreading some around here. And then comes the job, we want to turn them all over where the skin side is down and touching the rack. And that can take a little time, but that way it dehydrates faster and you don't lose all your juices. Now we leave the seeds in it because the seeds are healthy for you. You would want to cut them in about one-eighth to one-quarter inch slices and then dice them into maybe half inch squares and that way the if you can keep them even your slices and your cuts they're going to dehydrate evenly and a lot better okay we've got these on our racks now i can only lift them up so high i hope you can see that but we do have three trays of them and we're getting ready to put them on the dehydrator. And estimating with the temperature today, it's 11 degrees right now with the chill factor of minus. So it'll probably take us a good eight hours to get these done today. So once we have them dehydrated, we'll get back to you and show you the final results on them. Okay, we got those finished up and then you can see this on the bowl here. We put a few of them in a bowl to show you what they're like. And can you see those? Mm -hmm. All right. And then we rehydrated some of them. And if you can see this right here, it's just within a minute, it was back to normal. I'm gonna taste that. It has a great flavor to it. It would go great in soups, whatever. And really, if you just want a snack on the trail, it'd be so. This is what you get, and we're going to be dehydrating some more. Look forward, we caught these on sale. These were cherry tomatoes, as I said. Can't wait to start getting them from the garden and really dehydrating some. And I myself am going to stick with either the Romas or the cherries, just mainly because of the mess factor I feel is in it. So, I want to thank you for coming, prairiefoxsurvival.com, and I look forward to seeing you the next time.